Okay, good morning. We know that this Wednesday and Thursday, gentlemen, is Purim. And Baruch Hashem, through a miracle, today we also had a minion, Baruch Hashem. So we're going to say a very short and sweet idea about Purim and the laws of Purim. Um, we know that the Arizal HaKadosh, one of the holiest men that lived in the last 500 years, says... Which one is higher, you think? Which one has the more potential for holiness? Yom Kippur or Purim? Yom Kippur. So everybody, out of a thousand people, 99, 999 would say what? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. But the truth is, if you're able to tap into this amazing energy of Purim, it's Yom Kippurim. We compare Kippur, Kippur to Purim. So which one's higher? Purim. Isn't that awesome? So this week, gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, anybody that's watching, we have opportunity if we do the mitzvahs of Purim, because why, why is Purim have a more potential for holiness and closest to God even than Kippur? Can you imagine such a thing? The answer is like this. On Yom Kippur, we say that the books of death and life are open in front of us. So our relationship with, to God is more from what? From fear, God forbid, you know? We say, oh, I want a happy new year. I, don't want, I want God to forgive me, so therefore I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to do teshuvah. But Purim is more from what? Joy and love. So what's a deeper relationship? When you're scared of somebody... Or when you love somebody. Obviously, when you love somebody, it's a much higher devekut. It's much higher attachment. That's why on Yom Purim, on this Wednesday night and Thursday of this week, when we realize that God never abandoned us, right? This is after the destruction of the first temple. God in a foreign language, in a foreign country... He loves us so much that I just want you, everybody to appreciate the magnitude of this miracle. Do you know we're sitting right now praying to God? But do you know our brothers and sisters in France, they need 10,000 troops to guard the Jewish schools? You know that. And the synagogues. Like yesterday, and they've had over 400 attacks on these noble troops through these radical Muslims. So could you imagine... If the Prime Minister of France would say, hey, I'm giving you Jews a day that anybody you guys know beyond a shadow of a doubt that wants to murder you and kill you and harm you, not only can you protect yourselves, but you can go kill them. You can go get rid of them. Wouldn't that be unbelievable? It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't even be fathomable. But that's what exactly hap happened on Purim. Guys, a pagan king allowed a Jew... Mordechai, and a Jewess, and a female Jew, Esther, to kill Haman, right? All of his children, all of his gang, all of the Amalekites. Unprecedented. I don't think it will ever happen in history. It never has happened. That's the joy. We see God. Even when we're in a... You destroyed the temple, right? But you love us so much that behind, behind the curtain... You're, you're always, you're watching us like the apple of your eye. That should cause us, what Omid? To become so in love with God. So appreciated, appreciative and gratitude to God that, believe it or not, gentlemen, on Purim you can even get to a higher level than what? The holy day of Kippur. So, we're just, there's, there's five mitzvahs that we have to remember to do. First of all, before the Megillah, you can do it today. It's, um, uh, Ethan, can you give me the Mahsi, the Shekel box? So we know that the, uh, it's, a, it's a mitzvah to give Shekalim. Like you see over here, we take, uh, you put six dollars. This is like three half silver dollars, you put them inside. And this is in remembrance of the uh, 
Machasita Shekel that the Jews used to give because there was a communal korban. So before the Megillah, every Jew should give at least recommended $6. It's better to give it on behalf of his wife and all of his children. And when he throws in the money, he should say Zecher in remembrance of Machasit Shekel. And what's the four mitzvahs of Purim, everybody? First of all, we have to listen to the Megillah twice. So Wednesday night, we're going to be reading it here, 645. And don't forget, Wednesday is the fast of Esther. It starts at 5 a.m. and in Los Angeles ends at 630 and it's interesting, on this same day, Bibi is going to beseech the most powerful body in the world, Congress, that they shouldn't let the new Haman get the nuclear weapons that they want to destroy all the Jews of the world from. So it's funny how history repeats itself. Baruch Hashem, I know many Jews that are, maybe haven't been as strong as they need to be in their commitment to God and the Torah. This year, I know a lot of my people are making the fast because it's so meaningful of Netanyahu going to Congress. So... On Wednesday, we fast in remembrance of the fast of Esther. Wednesday night, we listen to the Megillah. We read it twice, 6.45 and 8.45 at my house, 6.45 in the Kenisa. Then, what's the next mitzvah? Again, we listen to the Megillah, twice. A lot of people make this mistake. You have to listen to the Megillah on Thursday also. We do it 7.15 in the morning and 8.45 7.15 in the Kenisa, 8.45 a.m. in my house. Then, there's the mitzvah of Matanat Le'ev Yonim. Guys, Rav Hutner says a beautiful idea. He said, God gave us a gift. He saved us from Haman. We were like a poor person that had no hope. We, it was going to be a holocaust on Purim. So therefore, the Rambam says, that, Shah, out of all the mitzvahs of Purim, which one do you think you have to be the most careful and doing the most excellent no, Matanot Lev Yoni. The Rambam says, um, unfortunately, the world doesn't do this so much. A lot of people give 50 gifts to people that are wealthy. But the day of Purim, if it, if it, has, a, if it has a direct correlation with Yom Kippur, gentlemen, we should be careful to give at least $5 to the rabbi or to a... You could give it direct. We collect here for the poor people of the city and of Israel. So the idea is, is that on this holy day that they're supposed to have a festival, the poor people get money so they can also go have a festival. So that mitzvah is called what, everybody? Matanat Le'ev Yonim. And you should at least give $5. Why $5? If you give $10, it's much better. Because at least two people, two different poor people should be able to have to go buy some hummus and some pita to make a... Uh, the next mitzvah is what, Ja? Mishloach Manot. You have at least to one friend, you have to give two different types of food. So you could give a wine and a challah. Or like a, the Gemara says, even if you give like prime rib and you give like um, neck, even it's considered two different types of food because they taste different. Even from the same animal, if you give, the Gemara says the Amorai. So the min. The Ben Ishchai says that, um, so basically, on Thursday when you're in Pali, Dan, make sure you have like a, uh, a soda and a, and a granola bar. You have to give it to one other fellow Jew. Why do we do this mitzvah, Shah? The idea is, is because Haman said Lashon Hara about the Jews only. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know who was the worst person that said Lashon Hara in the history of mankind? Haman. Haman. The snake and Haman, ha, Hamin Ha'etz, you know. They said Haman Mina Torah. Haman told Achashverosh, why should you bring a holocaust upon the Jews? Because they don't even, they hate each other. So for sure they don't, the Jews, they, the Jews never have unity, right? They're always undermining and not being cohesive, a cohesive and uh, loving and caring about each other. So therefore to prove that Haman is wrong, what do we do? We say, we give each Jew, and it's better to give it to a Jew that maybe you had a little bit argument with. To give him Mishlach Manot, to increase uh, love. And then what's the last mitzvah that we have to do? The Ben Ishchai and the Kabbalist, it's, it's important to have a feast. 
gentlemen. What is the feast? Just like on Shabbat, we have like a bread and we have some like very good food, Choresh and Gondi, so on. Baruch Hashem, Mr. Kohanim is bringing a whole bunch of people here. We're having at the shul at 5 a.m., at 5 p.m. on uh, Thursday. And it's a mitzvah to what? Drink more wine than usual so afterwards you can fall asleep and not know the difference between Mordechai and Esther. I wish everybody, I... Uh, Give myself and everybody a blessing. May Hashem help us utilize this holy day. That we should get to the Madriga even higher than Yom Kippur. And we have to listen to the Megillah very carefully. And in Be'ezat Hashem, Hashem should bring us the ultimate redemption. And save us from the modern Haman. Amen. 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 Amen.